Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you a piece of software that's online for you to draw diagrams, flowcharts, that sort of thing. Now, the first job to do is log into any of your college Google services. I'll log into my calendar. And the reason for doing this is just that it logs us into the Google account so that we can log on to the system I'm going to show you, which is called draw.io. And if I go to draw.io, press enter in the top, it opens up the Draw.io software, and we can access it and save through these services. We use Google Drive, so if we click Google Drive there, click on Authorize, and it'll ask for us to use these services. So it wants to know about our basic details, access to Google Drive to save the files, and access to the folders on our Google Drive, which we need to give it to save our information. So if we click on Allow, we can then open an existing diagram or create a new one. So if we click on Create a New Diagram, there's lots and lots of examples here that we could use. And you find engineering, business, mind maps, uh, network diagrams, loads of useful things. If we go on to basic and create a blank diagram and click create, you can see that it comes up with a blank sheet and you've got all the things on the left hand side that you can add. If I wanted to do a very basic diagram of like a management structure, I could drag a box onto the system and then I could drag some underneath. Now it doesn't matter sometimes, if you want all these level, you can level them here. Or you can just drag them on at random and then if you like to distribute them evenly you can highlight all of these and you see that they're all at a different level. So first of all we'll do is go to a range and go to a line and then we'll top a line and now they're all aligned to the top. If I then go to a range and go to distribute we can horizontally distribute them and now they've all got a spacing even between them and if this here was our uh, let's say head of department what we can do is add text just by starting to type. And if you want to join this to these boxes, we just go to the top and click on here. And you can draw straight lines or you can get it to put on the lines itself and put all the corners on by choosing this one. We'll choose the start point, keep your finger held down and then go to the end point and let go. And there you go, you've now got a line. It's got an arrow on it. If you want to get rid of the arrow, you just click on the line and then you've got here the type that it is. So we could have uh, one like that. We could change it to an arrow again. We could actually remove the end of the arrow and we can also change the thickness and things. So Once you've got your diagram complete you can rename it by clicking on the title at the top left just like you can on Google Drive. We can also export this and use it in other things by going to File and then going to Export and we can save it as an image, we can save it as a PDF and there's also some other types there you can use if you're an advanced user. You've also got a revision history here and we can do the printing straight from the system. If I click on Close and close the system down and then if I go back to my internet page and click on the Google Drive If I go to Recent Documents, you'll see here that there's my diagram saved. If I double click it to open it, it'll show me a little preview. And to open it back on Draw.io, just go to the top here, click on Open with Draw.io. And your diagram opens up just as you left off.